My email is hacked. How do I fix it? Seven steps you need to do now. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where I've been responding to people's questions about a hacked email and worse since 2003. So the scenario is pretty simple. One reason or another, you've determined that your email account has somehow been compromised. What do you do next? I'm going to give you the seven steps real quickly to start with so that you can get off and do those things if you need to. But I do want to go into each of those steps in a little bit more detail because they are not necessarily as simple as one might think. If your email's hacked, here's what you need to do. One, recover your account. I'll talk about what happens if you can't in a moment. Two, change your password and of course, make it long and strong and secure. Three, verify and or change your account recovery information. The fact that you've been able to get back into your account means that your recovery information is still there, but make sure it's all set to something that you've got and still have access to. Number four, check your out of office messages, the autoresponders, the forwards and the signatures, basically anything that somebody who had access to your account could have changed while they had access. Five, check your related accounts for being compromised. If they had access to this email account, they may have used it to gain access to other accounts. Six, let your contacts know. They may need to know to ignore anything that came from you while your account was compromised. And seven, start backing up. Perhaps most of all, I'll throw in a bonus number eight, learn from all this so that it doesn't happen again. So let's revisit each of those steps in a little bit more detail. Step one, recover your account. This applies if you can't currently log into your account. You need to be able to log in to do pretty much anything else to your account to secure it after a compromise. And that means that you'll need to follow whatever the recovery process is for that particular provider. That usually means clicking on a lost by password or forgot my password kind of link or a can't access my account kind of link. That service will walk you through a process that will prove that you are who you say you are and should be allowed access to your account. Now, the question that comes up the most often is simply this. What if this doesn't work? What if I can't get access to my account? What if my recovery information is out of date? What if it's just not working because whoever had access to my account changed everything? You're out of luck. Bottom line is you're out of luck. If you can't log into your account, if you can't recover your account, it's not your account anymore. It belongs to the hacker or to whoever was able to get in without you, and you're not going to be able to get it back. It's a harsh, harsh lesson to learn, but it's an important one to realize so that you can stop beating your head against a wall that you'll never, ever break through. So do what you can to recover your account and please consider yourself very, very lucky if you can. Immediately then, step two, change your password. Make your password something long and strong, 16 characters or more random characters. Uh, make it multi-word pass phrase if the service will allow that. But do something to make sure that you've got a brand new password on the account. It is very possible that even after recovering or just logging into your account, the hacker may still have access. And one of the ways that you want to disable that is to change the password to something that they don't know and can't guess. Unfortunately, changing your password isn't enough. Step three, change or confirm all your recovery information. Remember I said in step one that if you can't recover your account, you're out of luck. Well, that relies on the recovery information associated with the account. It is very possible that a hacker can go in and change some of the recovery information to their own information so that if you regain access to your account, they can hack it again by simply doing a password reset. So go through and verify anything and everything that can be used to recover access to your account. And that means things like your alternate email addresses, your phone numbers, your other related accounts, 
And like I said, anything that can be used to regain access to your account and can be changed is something you need to look at and make sure it still applies to you. And if it's something that can be changed, probably should be. Step four, change the out of office message, reply to's, signatures and such. This is not quite as obvious and to be fair, not quite as common as it once was, but every once in a while, a hacker will get into an account and rather than take it away from you, they'll simply do things like change your signature or set up an automatic forward or change a reply to so that they get their spam in your messages that you're sending so that they get messages, copies of messages that you receive so that when people reply to your email, it goes to them instead. You get the idea. There are a lot of things that are customizable in your email account. Again, depending on your provider, you need to make sure that those haven't been tampered with and that they are still set to what you expect them to be. Number five, check related accounts. This is probably the scariest of all, especially if you no longer have access to the account you need to run around and make sure that none of your other accounts have been compromised. If this is your primary email account, if this is the account that's used as the email account on other online services, the hacker could go to those services and ask for a password reset while they have access to your account. That means that by hacking into your email account, they could hack into your Microsoft account, your Dropbox account, your other online accounts, whatever those might be. This is a pain, but it's a pain when they do this as well. So make sure that you understand exactly what other accounts they may have had access to by virtue of having had access to your primary email account. Number six, let your contacts know. Now, this one's kind of controversial. I kind of like the idea of letting your contacts know, if only to let them know that anything that came from you to them while the account was compromised is at least suspect. Uh, you weren't traveling, you weren't asking them for money, you weren't in trouble, you weren't promoting something in your signature, whatever it might be it's probably a good idea to let everybody know so that they don't fall for any of the tricks or things that the scammer may have done while they had access to your account. Number seven, start backing up. This is one that a lot of people don't do until they realize just how much information is in their email account. You need to start backing up the information in your email account. That means backing up your messages, your sent mail, your contacts, whatever else you happen to keep in your email account. There are several ways to do it, but the important way to think of this is if you have access to your email account, what might happen if you didn't? What might happen if, again, back in step one, we were unable to recover access to that account? What would you lose? Well, that is what your backup would be all about. Backing up all of your messages, backing up all of your contacts, backing up whatever other information is associated with that account is a way to prepare for and recover from a catastrophic hack that you can't get your account back from. Now, this is seven tips, but like I alluded to at the beginning, I've got a couple more that I want to at least emphasize. Number eight, of course, is learn from this experience. If you've had your account hacked, there was a reason. Let's use that to improve security, improve our habits, and do some of the other things that perhaps we weren't doing to keep the account safe. Those are things like using strong passwords and never sharing them with anybody. Don't fall for phishing attacks. Learn how to recognize phishing emails. Don't click on links that you aren't 100% certain are legit and valid. Many phishing attempts will lead you to bogus sites asking you to log in by clicking on what looks like a legitimate link, and yet if you look at it closely, it's not. If you're using Wi-Fi hotspots, learn to use them safely. Keep the operating system and other applications on your system as up to date as possible. Many of the attacks we hear about industry wide actually leverage unupdated systems. In other words, there's a known vulnerability that hackers can just walk right through 
only because the system had not been completely updated. Learn to use the internet safely. I have a specific internet safety article on just that topic. And finally, consider multi-factor authentication. I haven't mentioned it yet. It's almost a silver bullet. If somebody gets your password, they still can't log in without that second factor that only you have. Number nine, if you're not sure, get help. I understand completely that this can be very overwhelming, especially if you're panicking about having lost an incredibly important email account. Perhaps you don't have access to it anymore. You can do a lot of things on your own, which is why I present the list above. But if you're uncertain, if it's too much, if it's all too overwhelming, now is the time to reach out to someone you trust to get their help to see if they can't get your account back and help you secure it more completely. And finally, share the article, share this video. Seriously, account theft, account hacks are happening all the time. And it's one of those situations where people really don't understand just how important some of this security is until it hits them, until they've become affected. I'd rather that not happen. Prevention, as complicated as it sometimes seems, is way more effective than any of the recovery techniques we've been discussing here. I encourage you to share this information to help people prevent getting hacked in the first place, and hopefully recover from a hack if it ever does happen to them. Now, for the original article on which this video is based, which has a little bit more detail still, comments, updates, and more, visit askleo.com slash 5415. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.